when it comes to repentance, repentance is a very serious thing. Repentance, repentance means to turn from your wicked ways. The word repent means to turn. Now, in the day, in the day when God told Jonah, I want to go to the Nineveh, the wicked city, and I want to preach to them and tell them then that they're going to be, they're going to be destroyed if they don't repent. Now the people, what the people have done, the people have fasted. They put ashes on themselves. They put glory to God, sackcloth and ashes on themselves because they were sincere about the repentance. So repentance means to turn, have the willing heart of change of mind to know the consequences of repentance. Repentance, glory to God, it means a change of direction, change of heart. Hey, go to God because my friend if you are a person that decided to repent you ask God to for, to forgive you and to cleanse you from the sin that you have committed that means that you want to ask God for help now I'm gonna tell you something if you have the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost give you a conscience so if you want to do the sin again the Holy Ghost will convict you the Bible says uh, in, 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 in Romans chapter 9 verse 1 it says I lie not my conscience will bear witness of the Holy Ghost and there's a lot of people that don't have a conscience because the conscience been sealed with an hot iron how does your conscience seal with an hot iron that means that even though you sin you have no conscience even though you sin you're not convicted even though you you sin you don't convince that you're doing wrong so having a repentance spirit a repentance mind that means that you are guilty of your sin and if you are guilty you won't do it again hey a person that hallelujah in a state of homosexuality if you ever come if you are convicted Hey, go to God. You want to stop that the act of homosexuality? What you got to do? You gotta ask God. God, help me with homosexuality. If you're a person that's a lesbian and you want to stop the act of having sex with women, you gotta ask God. Hallelujah! And God will help you with a homosexuality. If you're a person that's addicted to sex, yes, you are addicted to sex. You gotta ask God. God. Help me with my addiction. My friend, the purpose for God is to help you. When Peter was sinking and Peter go to God, cry out, say, Lord, save me. And the Lord save him and put him in the, sh in the boat. So I'm telling you, you might not see a physical God, but God is there. He's a voice. He's my voice. He's the word. He's the, in the Bible. He, if you're willing and obedience, you should eat the good of land. The Bible say, my friend, in, in Second uh, uh, Chronicles 7, 14, he said, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin. So it, it say it, if my people, which are called, now if you're called by God, God give you a will. A will to do what? The Bible says he will not hear a sinner prayer. But if any man doeth will and worship him, he heareth. So if you're a person, go to God, that have a heart to repentance. If you're a person that's saying, Lord, forgive me. Go to God. God will sincerely forgive you. But you got to have the mind, go to God, to stop doing it. You have to have the mind to say you have to let go sin. You have the mind to change your friends. My friends, sometimes the people we hang around with, it cause us to sin. Hey, go to God. That's why you can't have social, you can't have friends that are going to turn you on. You can't have friends that, that are horny. You got to have friends that are faithful to God. So I'm telling you, you got to have a mind go to God to repent. You have a mind. It's in your heart, your mind, because the heart is treacherous creature above them all. So if your person Go to God, that asking God, go to God for, 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 for repentance. You gotta be willing to turn. You gotta be willing because the repent mean, I'm gonna tell you what repent mean. R mean righteous. E mean to enter. Hallelujah. P mean a personal. And E mean the eternal relationship with God. And the N mean now. And the T mean truth.
What is the truth? The truth is the word of God. God is willing and obedience. Go to God. You should eat the good of land. He's not willing that any shall perish, but all men shall come to repentance. So repentance means to turn. Turn from what? Turn from your wicked ways. A hundred and eighty degrees turn when people was was pricking their heart. They told Peter, hey, go to God. Men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said, repent. Peter said, turn. Have fruit of repentance. What the fruit of repentance? That means that you are willing to get baptized. Baptized give you a conscience toward the word of God. So if you are a person that willing and ready to repent, God will go honor his will and you be in the way of repentance. My friend, you got to be in the will of God. The will of God is you always got to pray. You always got to read the word of God. You always got to be in his presence because the presence of the Lord is full of joy at thy right hand. They are pleasure forevermore. And you got to change your friendship. You can't be friendship with the world because the world is enemy toward God. My friend, to repentance means that you gotta either you gotta turn off things. Uh, you can't listen to certain songs. You can't watch the, uh, certain movies. You can't watch uh, X-rated because those things turn you on. So the fruit of re of repentance is things that that make you sin against God. Yes, things that make you sin. It could be friends. It could be family. It could be co-workers. You got to be careful how they go to God. You will sin against God. My friend, I'm talking about people that willingly sin against God. But to know that you go to God, you want to you wanna be the person of repentance, that means that you have, to have a, a mind willing to repent. And repentance doesn't mean to turn. Repentance means having a will to say, Lord, forgive me. And God will cleanse you from all unrighteousness he's faithful for, he's faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness i'm talking about how to repent to god you got to turn from your wicked ways you got to turn because turn mean you have you're submitted to god you decided not to smoke no more. You decided not to drink no more. You decided not to fornicate no more. You decided not to lie no more and tell the truth. All those things I have a mind to do, mind to repent to God. My friend, a lot of people don't know how to repent. If you are a person that you repent and go back and do it again, that means that you ain't sincerely gave it to God. You got to sincerely give it to God and God will hallelujah help you but you gotta you, you got to be willing to repent your heart gotta be set to God and you gotta pray if I have a, a spirit of prayer you gotta get into the word of God because David listen David say David say have mercy on me according to 11 kinds and according to 10 mercy blot out my transgression so David Lord to God was willing and say Lord forgive me and David was being was forgiven he had he had a heart of forgiveness he said he said take that his holy spirit from me he said wash me with his up that i should be psalm psalm 51 hey go to god i'm talking about god will forgive you but you gotta have a mind your mind gotta be right your heart gotta be right that's why the bible say I, I urge you, my brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body as a living sacrifice. You gotta have a body willing to God. You gotta sacrifice your body to God. Hey, glory to God. I hope this helped you. And don't forget to subscribe to my video. Hey, glory to God. God bless. Peace.